Today we have Season 3, Episode 11 of Tokyo Revengers, and we're about to get into the fight between uh, certain two somebodies who are practically the poster childs of uh, this season. So let's get into it. There we go. That is that? All right, there we go. Should work. Whoa, whoa, whoops. Alright, the quality isn't as great as I'd hope it to be, but you can't win at everything. Gotta, of course, have the My Brother line. Hmm. That's actually not bad. <laughs> and you know that was his iconic strike. Okay, what is with these designs? And it's really the animation. Okay. Maybe I need it just a little bit louder. Yeah, and that's the signature stuff. Okay, that is a look. <laughs> well, yeah. All right. Oh, that act like it. Like what the heck though? That the the foot looked like it came out of nowhere. Yeah, pretty much. Nothing's happening. It, it, I'm, but like, why shouldn't Draken help? I know it's like, you know, their fight, but still. I'm going to guess because he can. All right, we got the intro, but... Be uh, that that's that's just my opinion, but nothing is left. Episode forty eight. Yeah, going back in time. Uh huh. So we get more on that. Hmm. I'm gonna guess, because I, my memory absolutely sucks, that he died. Hmm. 
I mean, that's the only reasonable explanation I could have that leads him down such a bad road. Hmm. Yeah. And suddenly life's not that bad. <laughs> what? What the heck? Nice. What? What the heck? Yes, he does. <laughs> uh huh. Young Isena. I find that funny. Basically, teaching him all the wrong things. Hmm. The more you know. But then again, that was obvious, but... It is interesting to see his past. This is definitely something that we... That would have been... I don't know, a little, I, want, I don't want to say a little bit more helpful to learning more about, more and understanding him better. I mean, you do, but I think you, I don't know, maybe, maybe this was important, but I think it could have been a little bit more useful to have it before this fight, but then again, they always break up fights in this show, it seems, for, you know, throwing in some past history. Hmm. Nice. All right. Sorry about that cut. But, uh, Manjiro, okay, which is basically Mikey. Oh. Oh, okay. Now we get the full circle of why he would have any reason to fight. Got it. Okay, what was that design for a second? That was weird.
most basic thing, but it looked the eyes looked so weird for a sec. True. And then without that, he's about your level. Could be. Maybe. Definitely both sides to that. Jeez, I know they didn't really show the level of how uh, of how damaging that could be, hitting someone in the head with a metal pipe, a back blow, but that is that is actually debilitating. I bet he did. Permanently disabled all of them. Jeez. That is, that is something. That is a look too. The, that is that is a look. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, there's dangerous and then there's that. And now he's your leader. What does that look? What the heck? His hair looks like some 1800s composer. <laughs> that was that was weird. Yes, I was waiting for that, because I feel like, you know, at some point you gotta show that. You gotta show the dual, the dual fists there. And this is the last straw. Like, getting, if he gets past here, he takes over. That's it for the path, for the future. I, I, I would agree. When you don't even realize that you have, like, hundreds of people backing you up. Are they then, like, nothing to you? Hmm. They're, go they're gonna go that route. Is he gonna be like, I have no big brother? Young younger brother? I, I forget who's younger. I kind of want to check that. Who is younger? August 30, 87 for Izana. And hold on. August 20, 1990. So you have 1990 and... 1987. So Izna is older. Okay. And there you go. My big brother. Okay. 
He is three years older. Okay. That was a good strike. And another good one. That's the look we're looking for. There we go. There we go. Now it's something. Yep. Yep. Well, again, another testament of how great, how, not great, how great, but how strong Iznuk is. Well, a few things. True. In a way, brother versus brother. Yep. Okay, we got that. All right, the flip. Okay, I, I I didn't even see that connect, honestly, but okay. Listen, I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that this surprises me that the, the, that the main protagonist wins, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's all about how they win. And in this instance, it is just, okay, what is that look? Okay, winning underhanded. Winning underhanded when you're desperate. That's all it shows. That's so not right. How are you going to do this? It is, but he doesn't care because he's ringing in that era of playing dirty in order to get gain momentum and power in gangs throughout it seems like the city mm. yeah someone needed to step in because i had a feeling that he would actually attempt that oh no was that Takisaki? Because he actually might. He he's he's willing with a gun. Yeah, he doesn't take we lost for for an option. I don't mean to spoil the spoil the news. Mm. I knew that was going to happen. That was so... <sighs> That's such a... Terrible way of thinking. You're selling him a scam. You're... You're selling him servitude. Why? Why would it... Why would you let yourself end like that?
that is a perfect example of preying on the weak and the vulnerable. It is shameful. But he doesn't care. He would rather fight shamefully. Yeah, he's gone too far. You know, you got the shaky eyes, you know. You've gone too far. That's that's how it works in anime. Of course you will. He will not... Uh, yeah, that is a... What? Excuse me? And did he die? Don't tell me. That was Kisaki? Tell me that was Kisaki. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is going to the next level. Oh, oh my god, and we don't know what happens. Oh, it was just getting to the next level of, of real insanity. And of course, they end it right there. Unfortunate, but... Okay, so we have um, one person shot in the shoulder, and another person, uh, we don't really know where he got shot, which is Izuna. We don't know exactly where he got shot, but that was, that, that was something, and yeah, not sure how that one's going to go, <laughs> not sure how that's going to end up, but it is one of those instances in, you know, it, it doesn't even have to be an anime. It's in any show when you've be, got those crazy eyes, when you've really gone too far, uh, when your um, antagonist just ends up being too, too loose, too crazy, just clinically insane to the point where they're irredeemable. That's what happens they they die and it it normally lead it it not normally leads to it it's normally because of uh people around them that inevitably take them down because no one roots for someone who's clinically insane unless they themselves are also clinically insane but this is something that I did worry about, like, halfway through the episode. I, I could tell that there was some inevitable doom out of it. And I saw that mainly... I, I, I understood that that was going to be the case, mainly because we, had, we have more episodes. It's not just, like, one more. We have, actually, two more. Yeah, we got two. So... Um, first of all, I think the next episode is going to be explaining all that stuff and ending the actual fight. Everyone goes to their own sides. And the last episode is possibly uh, wrapping up terms in the past and then going into the future. That's just what I think. Obviously, I can't really, you know, if I even predicted it, you know, it's mid-December, so I didn't know. Um, and I don't read the manga. I'm sorry to break it to you. I don't. But this is an instant of... He's gone too far. And I thought, you know, maybe we're going to get that a little bit more in episode 12. Because um, when people go too far, they go to the next level. And then it's another uh, kind of phase of the final fight. But I, with you know, gunfire stops all that, and I don't think we're gonna get that next level of the fight because I think he'd be too wounded. I think it was a great match. I think the animation wasn't that great, but I think a lot of you know the background was definitely it. It helped to have it explained. Let's just say that. But it was also nice to see him, Izuna. Um, a little bit better explained in terms of his past and his issues and what led to a lot of what happened with him. So there's that, which I think is good. 
And um, I don't really think I have that much more else to say. Um, I will just throw into the mix, this is not related to the show, but that uh, for next season, in terms of the shows that I plan to release, in terms of reacting to, I plan to, I plan for it to be two shows. One is a series that has already had a season come out, so it's not original, basically, and the other one is. And I don't exactly know what those two shows are. I do I do now have times, the, the dates for when all of those release, which is good. But I didn't choose anything. Nothing is nothing is set in stone as of right now. I'm because it just came out and I'm still figuring things out as to what I'll choose. But I'll probably let it be known within the next week or so what I what I choose. I'm thinking of the one the one that is completely new that has not had a season come out yet. That one I will announce beforehand and the other one which is going to be a multiple season one that I'm I'm not going to go back to the first season of it or second season, you don't know what it is. I don't know what it is exactly. But basically, I'm not going to go back to prior seasons of it. I'm starting it where it's currently airing, because that's just how I work. It would be a waste of a reaction, basically, to react to something that I've already seen. So that's where I'm at with that. And uh, all right, that's, that's pretty much it. And I will... See you all next week for episode 12, the penultimate episode to the season, uh, yeah, to season three finale. That's about it.